taxes yet. Now is the time. The deadline is tomorrow. And you better send your money in, if you owe money, that is, and you're filing for an extension. Jackson Hewitt's Chief Tax Information Officer, Mark Steber, joined me on Zoom a little earlier for some expert advice for the last-minute filers. You have to pay the money that is due with your taxes by the deadline, by midnight on the 18th with the extension, or you risk an underpayment penalty and a failure to pay penalty. A lot of people also think that because it's titled an automatic six month extension, you don't really have to do anything. Well, that's not true either. You do have to file that form. And it's important to note that the failure to file penalty is 10 times bigger than the failure to pay. So anybody who's sitting out there going, yeah, I just, I'm not gonna get around to it get around to it or risk penalties and interest and fees to clean all that up. Let's talk a moment about the people who have already filed this year. Uh, the, the lucky ones, many people might think <laughs> at this point. The IRS says that about 70 million of those actually have a refund already and those refunds appear to be about 10% higher this year. So what's what's going on? Why is that happening? Yeah. It's a very good year for taxpayers. I'm not really sure why all these people are waiting. Refunds are in fact up, and that's all a direct result of all the tax law changes that took place in 2021. New child tax credit of up to $3,600, fully refundable. Dependent care credit up to $8,000, fully refundable. New earned income credit for a, a single taxpayer, $1,500, and it used to be a, a few hundred. So there's a lot more benefits, a lot more complexity accordingly, but a lot of people are getting some well-needed money uh, when they file their taxes. Well, coming up at nine o'clock, we're going to have more timely tips on taxes, including how people can get their refunds faster, even with the current IRS staffing shortages.